check out folks all these beautiful ships you're talking probably a million pounds for some of these ships wow look at these now you can further down you can't actually go on one of these private tours Well, today I'm in Turkey and just check out all these boats just along here. And where are we going in today? What do you know what I'm like about old buildings, old history? We are going in at this building, which is Bodrum Castle, if I've said it right. So I want you to come and join me on this little adventure with Random and Desperate, and we're going to walk around here. Now, this opened, this was built or started built in, in 14. Oh eight! Wow, so it's it's super old. It's one of the first castles on the island. So let's go and check it inside. We'll see how much it costs first. Yeah. Okay. Thank thank you. So this is where we start here first. We'll be told to start on the stairs, but check this castle out. Wow. Beautiful structure. Are you ready, kid? Right. Let's go on this little adventure. I like anything like all, all these old castles. Now, apparently, it's been occupied by the Italians, the English. They're everywhere, aren't they? The, the Germans and the French, but the and they have like four towers what all dotted around it and the biggest one is the French one now remember how old this structure is folks wow. so this does, did cost quite a 23 euros each which is round about 25 Nearly £25 in our money. Look at all these old structures. Check that castle out. This is probably the main entrance to the castle. Well, years ago. The Western Wall, this is the Western Wall. So what we'll do, look at these cannons, navy cannons these. Look at the size of this structure. And if you just look up there, it's some kind of church to be honest with you. But we will actually go into there. Was this a fort, what was going around it? And if you look there, there's the sea. I reckon years ago, all the water used to come in there and it made a natural defense mechanism, which was the water. Wow. I love anything like these old structures. It gives me so much passion around it. And there it is, there it is, Bod Bod Bodrum, it's Bodrum itself. This is like the marina, but check this out. Apparently you can get proper tours on this. It's beautiful. I reckon this was some kind of guard post years ago, with the structures on here. Now if you listen, don't even can hear it on the music, but that is a call to prayer. I think it goes round four times a day. But it is. Check this out. So you think this was like a defence mechanism for the possible invaders of this wonderful country? So that noise is the answer to prayer. It is a religious country. It is a Muslim country. Now what we're going to do now folks, we're going to head in the, the west wing itself. But, but check them little holes here, probably cannons, 
was placed there years ago. But this is, so I bet the sea used to come up here. This is a natural defence to stop from the possible invaders. Wow. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Bless you. So bless where, you. bless you again. So where we're heading now, folks? Say this was probably a defence port. You see all the cannons ready. And I just check this out. The old cannons, just cannon balls down here. So this would, I would, I would summarise. This was like a defence area to get into the, the main castle itself. This is like the west wing. Now remember, the English, the French, the Germans, they all wanted Turkey for their own. So that's why they built this castle, to defend from possibly other foreign investors and from the Turkish people itself. Let's go in here. Wow, oh, check that out. The tower gateway. Now, this is what you call the tower gateway. Remember, it's heavily defended round here. Oh, shame you can't go up there. So what we'll do there, we'll go up. But honestly, it's really cool in here. What I mean by that is that it's, it's around about 28 degrees at the moment. And because of the natural ro rocks, which have probably got these from the mountains, which is opposite, it makes a natural barrier from the dreaded heat. So these where the cannons used to be put for possible invaders to enter the enter the castle. And just check out the old symbols there on top. I don't know exactly what they mean, probably coats of arms. Let's go down here. And the main castle in itself is there. I'd like to know what these coats of arms are, to be honest with you. But again, this would have been a defence port. Now, if you look at that tower over there, I don't know which one it is, but there used to be three, t three towers. German, Italian, English and the French. And the French was the biggest one. They must have invested a lot of money into this country itself. But this is the main defence tower. Wow. What I think to myself is all the people who defended this say years ago, hey, what's that? That's what happened when you were in Arthur. you think the amount of different armies what was in here as a whole and they all seem to get on because this was a new world for, for them for the English the Italians the Germans oh, wow look at this one a little dungeon down here let's check this out It's lovely and cute, but you really, folks, got to watch your step down here. Wow, well, okay, okay. That's where all the golden nectar was. Now, what's this say? These objects were found in a shipwreck discovered by diving in Bor Borum Castle 
in the 60s. Wow. So the castle was you this is this was a storeroom. So that's how they found them. This is all where the golden nectar were. Where the people who defended this or oh, on the ships drunk. How long like to gone back in time? So this is like a story. A little hatch up there. But if you're ever in Borough, worth checking this out, especially if you're like me and you like old buildings. This is where all the golden nectar is. <laughs> but each barrel or pot tells so, so many stories. Men drinking ale, or oh, probably wine back then, a sherry, and all the stories what the men used to share. Well, these steps are certainly interesting. Now, what we'll do now, we'll go into the main bit itself, the main bit of the castle. Now, I always like going places where none of the tourists go. Could you see? Most people are in there now. I know you're dying to get in it. But every little nut and cranny. There's one of the towers I was mentioning about. There's four. Ahoy, Captain! Check that out there. I bet that's where they threw you if you were messing with a local hottie. Straight on the cliffs. Right folks, we'll go to the main area of the castle. Oh, check that out folks, look at that moss. We'll go in that last, I think. Look at the old pots round here. Wonder what these were? See him on the. Was it just deco? We're checking out. Massive, isn't it? We've still got to go all the way up there, yeah. But isn't that beautiful? Definitely worth it if you're ever in this wonderful country to check it out. Peacock. I wish him well. Horse there. Sign of a strong army. Another one here. It's been covered up. That'd be actually quite a long video. I didn't realise how big this actually was. <laughs> now look at that beauty. Peacock. Now that's a male, by the way, if anyone didn't know it. The males are more beautiful than the females. The females are like brown and she colour, but, but the male. And when they get threatened, they open all their feathers up. So it confuses the enemy and they all look like eyes. Now we're going to go in here. This is a moss now. So, I'm unsure how much I can fill. Let's check this out. Wow. Look at the underground bit here. I wonder what that used to be. But folks, this is where people used to come and pray. You heard the, the pray call before. When we got into the castle, Muslim people would come here. So they must have had Muslim soldiers, Muslim workers in here. And they made like a nice church for them to pray. Well, Now what you see underneath my feet here, this was discovered in 1994. 
when a group of a group of people came in here to check there's any mystical let's just say landmarks and they found this underneath now if you look here there's a remain of a skeleton now that could have been some kind of high figure in this castle or represent this moss because that's what they used to do back then they used to it was an important figure they put you in the churches underneath so they would feel that you're closer to god and check this out just outside there's the most beautiful creature here a turtle wow okay check that out going in his shell <laughs> Now, if you look now at the peacock, it's making like a defence. What well, do you see? All the eyes. What? You see that? Now, if you think he was a predator and you saw that beauty, it would scare you. It's designed to confuse you. Confuse the predator. See how it shapes. Look at that. Check that out. Beautiful, isn't it? And that's just defence designed to confuse any predators check that out folks a white one now that's a male by the way i think that's a female that one you need to wait a bit and yeah he will wax <laughs> just give me give him a minute okay yeah. Yeah, this is this is a male. So the females don't look so glamorous. Just like now, the males are more handsome than the females. Yeah. <laughs> so, so where we're going to head now is up there to the main castle. Now this castle, this is the French tower, which is the most speculous part of this complex. Remember there was originally four, I don't know how many is remaining, but we'll go in here. But look at these steps going into the place. Need a parachute to get down. But check this out. All the old archives. It's nice and cool in here, air conditioning. But you can imagine how hot it were back then when they didn't have air conditioning. <laughs> now, with them at the bottom, old bones underneath here. Well, this could have been an eating hall. another peacock just there but that's where we've just been in now we're going to head up now to the main bit hopefully we can get on to the other side if you look there's a little there's a peacock there a peacock there and one what we're used to over there wow check out that muriel there now where are we going to go up now it's the heart of the castle probably the courtyard Yeah, this would have been some kind of courtyard. Now, I'll be honest, there's no information to tell us English guests where it actually is. Well, that's where we're going to go now, in the heart of the castle. This definitely was a courtyard. We could have festivals here, fights, <laughs> battens. 
local hottie competitions. So where we're gonna go now is up there, come and join us. Probably this will be the last bit. Now there there's some underground bit. I think we've seen a, we found this hidden cave. Do you know in the first bit where we found all the golden nectars? But we'll go in here. Unless these are the four, if you look here, are the four towers. I know the French one was the biggest one. But there were four. Let's go in here. Sides of these steps. But nothing like Burger King or McDonald's back then. Let's go in here. Check this bit out. But it's naturally cool in here. What we'll do, we'll go in this room first. All these pots and... Hmm, interesting. What's that? Some kind of kind of animal. Exciting for you. What do you mean, my old man? I love stuff like this. But check out the work up here, all the structures. There's a coat of arms, sign of defence. But you think this, these could be in the quarters of our lords, ladies? And I bet the stories. What you could tell in places like this would be something else out of this world. There's lots of pots here. Two handed pots there. But you know me, I'm more interested in the structure of the place. Good morning, servants of this world. It is random here. I require my breakfast. <sighs> <laughs> this could be the let's just say this could be the princess bit that could be the law this is the princess bit like hedgehog on the toilet. Oh wow, look at these necklaces. Made from different stones around the island, the little shells. And this, oh yeah, this pot here, which has been damaged, has it been damaged? It could have been damaged, look at all the cracks. Now, I'll tell you an interesting part about a pot. Now, we, I class ourselves as pot, but when we're damaged, when something happens in our life, we smash on the floor, we, we glue all our little bits back together, but we're never the same. Because the cracks are still there. Mental health, folks, it's real. And even in times like this, there would have been mental health issues. Going this way. Hello. 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 Hiya. Now check the view out over here. Wow. And we're still not at the top of the tower. See, there is another tower over there. But I would say that's the biggest one. Oh, is it? Yeah, that was the biggest one. But there were four main ones. What we'll do, we'll go right to the top. Up here. We'll check that out last. Princess, interesting. Right. 
mirror wheel there. But check this out all around here. It's absolutely massive. There's still more things to do down there. And look at that, that's like a natural, could have been natural waterfall. Would that be the English one with a lion? Wow. What we'll do is venture down there, but look at the view folks. Isn't it beautiful? Got some mural wheels here. Now I'll tell you an interesting fact. Now this used to be free to get in, <laughs> but like from any profiteering, and I suppose I've got to keep the up place of this beautiful place. I've started charging. Now, was it 20 quid to get in? Now, if you're not into old buildings, or you're not into golden nectar stuff, it's worth a bit of a day out just to see it. It is a massive place, there's no doubt about it. Absolutely massive. Now I do recommend you come not in the heat of Turkey Lurkey because it's nearly 30 degrees now and I can feel all the heat. But in the summertime, where the six weeks where all the kids are off, I'll fly there. It will be, let's just say, scorching here. But wherever you go, especially Greek islands, Turkish islands, you always find little bits of history dotted around this place but if you're bad on your feet folks be aware be aware now we're in the english tower you can tell with the colors All the carvings around here. Now this is the Tower of St John's. English, Portugal, German, France. Now we have difficulty to identify them because colours are gone. So this is the English part of the tower. You can just see it at the top there. See it? That's how it, that's how it gives it away. Coat of arms. Now, now look at the scenery here of Bodrum. Bodrum, was it? Bodrum. Bodrum, I'll get it right. There's a catamaran there. And I bet that goes to Cos. Now it's just over there, Cos, just past them islands. But it only goes a couple of times a day. But look at the scene there. Look how calm it is. And you see how it's all built up around the hills. So folks, that is pretty much of it done to be at the, at the moment. I said, long we saw the English Tower, which was there, that was the main thing I wanted to, to look for. But I hope you enjoyed this little journey with Random and Desperate. And you are in Turkey, you are in Bodrum, Bodrum, Bodrum. Check this place out. But remember, bring some water, folks. Bring some water. So I'm going to end this Random and Desperate adventure with this lush scenery around Bodrum. Wow, look how clear it is. Thanks for watching folks. English there, English Tower. <laughs> Thanks for watching folks, and I'll see you again next time. Now I have dragged my lovely bird all around this place, okay? She's not really into like, buildings and stuff like that, but she's came with me because suppose she likes me. <laughs> oh, shopping, time. shopping time. 
I suppose that's what you do in relationships, you compromise. I look at old buildings, she buys any old tat. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time for whenever the adventure awaits. Golden Nectar. Well, folks, to finish my castle adventure, I definitely need something unhealthy. Double Whopper with chips. <laughs>